All right, and here we go. Step number one, DC supply voltages. So we first thing we have to do is adjust VR1 for minus 15 volts, plus or minus 10 millivolts at point A. And here is point A, as you can see, and the analog route is on the other side. So if we take a look at the actual synth, I've got it powered up, so I'm being very careful. This could kill me if I'm very foolish, so I have to be making sure I don't touch any wires uh, while I'm videoing. So anyway, here is the ground and I apologize for the mismatched colors on the probes but unfortunately I uh, only have a clip lead in red so that's the way that's gonna be. Okay, here's the meter over here and of course I'm having a difficult time lining it all up. It's a game of twister. Tell you what, I'll flip the camera on. Okay, test point one, ah, oh, much better. So minus 14.94, that's what we're reading here. Now, if they say it should be minus 15 plus or minus 10 millivolts, that actually should be like 14.99 or 15.01. Those would be acceptable. So I'm gonna put the camera down now and I'm going to adjust VR1, which is our little friend here, VR1. I'm going to adjust him and uh, try and get that correct and then we're going to proceed from there. This is very, very important. You've got to get the supply voltages correct before you start calibrating anything else. And if you change the supply voltages after you've calibrated the rest, you have to start all over again. So this is where you start. We'll do that and uh, move right along to the next one.